Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. Hello everybody, this is John, AK Wildlife in MIC Chat. Back for another episode of the Options Basics. So uh, the next part, we're actually going to get into kind of like actual uh, option trades, kind of some of the basics, the first two strategies um, that uh, people learn when starting out. Uh, the very first thing that everybody kind of really starts out with is this first one. And it's basically you're going to buy a call or buy a put. And we kind of talked about it. Uh, you know, if you buy a call, you're hoping or expecting the strike or that, st excuse me, that stock uh, of the underlying that you bought it is to go up. If you buy a put, you're hoping or expecting it to go down. And so one of the things that you have to understand, it's this, this, uh, this strategy, buying calls and, and puts, is a very low probability of long-term success. Uh, because A, you have to be correct in the direction. So at best, it's a 50-50, whether it's going to go up or down. And this is where it gets even worse than if you were just buying the stock. So you, you got to be, direction has to be correct, timing has to be right because the expiration date. And then you also have to have an expected move. So the stock has to move greater than what the option pricing is already taken into account when you put on the position. So at the at the money and out of the money options have the least likelihood of success for option buyers. Um, however, you know, what you see on Twitter and all these other folks that are talking about, you know, they've had these thousand percentage gains or hundreds of percentage gains in a day or two, they're buying these, these calls and or these and or puts, um, but they are using them in a kind of a day trading mechanism on significant stocks that are moving with that have good vol good um, um, liquidity in the options. So if you don't get movement one way or another in the direction that you want, you can have, you know, like I said, you can lose 100% of your investment. So the options you're obviously buying, the, the premium is a lot less than if you're buying the stock, but because of the date of expiration, and uh, that thing is working against you every time you buy something on as an option. So, you know, why right here it says, you know, it can yield significant or massive gains. It's because of that reason that you can get these large moves in the underlying, which would create these huge gains in the stock. So anyway, once again, I'm not a proponent of this type of trading. Uh, I would be lying if I said I didn't buy calls and puts, but there's specific reasons for it. Um, usually, uh, it's very, very, very small, completely speculative part of my trading. Uh, I do not do this on a routine basis. I try to take higher, much higher odd setups, and and uh, just like when day trading, we we trade when the when we have edge. In this case, uh, the long term success probabilities is very low, and and it's, the deck is stacked against you. So the two strategies, the other two that I like for people that are trading in like a Roth or have long-term or want to have long-term stock holding is going to be the two that we go over next. And they're geared towards income generation and reduction of stock basis or risk. So those are the two things that uh, most long -ter longer term players are looking for is how to generate income. And this is above and beyond any returns of the ownership of the stock itself and then reduction of risk. So who wouldn't want to do either one of those or both uh, generate income and reduce risk? So the first uh, strategy that I, I am a proponent of is selling cash secured puts. And how you go about this is you sell an at the money or out of the money put option. 
Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.